Open everyone, this is Mike the Psycat here with the Strategy Guide's guide to finding the Hidden Blade Brothers and their secret sword scrolls in Zelda Minish Cap. Now, as the name probably implies, I am not going to be spending a lot of time talking about Swift Blade here because it's easy to find him and he tells you outright what exactly you need in order to learn his different scrolls such as the new sword for the rock breaker you know you need to get the white sword he you also need the pegasus boots for the dash attack and the rocks cape for the down thrust move so i'm not really going to talk about him what you guys want to find are the ones that are out there in the wilderness out there in the wild hidden in their caves and whatnot ready to pass on their other secret abilities and the ones living behind waterfalls that permanently enhance your move set and whatnot. So, without further ado, we'll get into it. So, the first Blade Brother you're likely to find after you have the sword with the two elements is up here on Mount Kremel, where you need to use the sword to split yourself into two to press those buttons. There we go. There we go. And I did it wrong. Nope. What? Yeah, I did it wrong. Hold on a sec. Blink. And that one. Ah, okay. There we go. After doing that, you can grab a piece of heart. All of them have pieces of heart. Spy them. Those chests contain rupees. And you will find the true Master Swordsman of Hyrule, Greyblade. Let it rip, I guess? I don't know. And he teaches you the roll attack. Make it, make it, make it! Not that roll. Uh huh. First, press. Forward and R. Second, as soon as you get up. Scream, Hyan, swing your sword! Ah. By the way, this is all footage from our Let's Play. Just so you know, Mark would be normally reading this. Except this is the raw, unedited footage that doesn't have his voice track, that doesn't have our voice track at it yet. Roll, roll and attack. And then when I do it myself... That's why the text is moving a bit slowly. The timing is a little tricky on that one, I will admit. Da -da -da -da. Now, if you come back to him later and fuse kinstones with him, bing, it'll open up this waterfall over here in the swamp. And in the swamp, you'll find this guy, Scarblade, who will teach you... Oh, I think, I think we were laughing at the name Scarblade. <laughs> Anyways, he will give you the ability to charge your spin attack faster. Now, here it's going to say the Great Spin... Now, uh, when I actually get it, it'll say the Great Spin Attack because I got this really late in the game. Hopefully, you guys won't wait as long as I did to, uh, to get this. Because it's really useful. I would go after this as soon as I have flippers if I were you. Now you can perform your spin attack much faster. This is the heart of the sword. Not much like the heart of the cards, I guess. Uh-huh. 
sped up great spin attack. Yeah, I waited way too long to get that. Yeah, it gives your spin attack. You can see how long I waited to get that. I have I have all the hearts in the game. Okay, the next sword scroll that you'll find is over here by the uh, in the lake over by where the one guy lives the by the mayor's shack oh, so I had a I had a really bad brain fart there you need to go to the mayor's shack for an actual side quest and as you can see I already have the sword beam though I think you're supposed to get this before you get the sword beam Although this guy won't teach you this move until you've got a certain number of hearts. I'll put the exact number on screen because I can't remember. But Wave Blade here will teach you the Pearl Beam. Personally, I think Wave Blade and Grave Blade should have their names switched around. The one that teaches you the normal Sword Beam should be Wave Blade, and the one that teaches you the Pearl Beam should be grave blade but whatever but yeah this lets you use a beam when you have one heart left <clears throat> Ugh, I apologize for my voice I'm still a bit under the weather And now he's going to drain all your health so that you can do it yourself. But don't worry, he gives it all back to you. Though, we were joking that it would be kind of a dick move in the game if they made it so that you had to pick up the heart piece to get your health back. Otherwise, well, you leave here, you're screwed. But no, the game had the foresight to just have him give all your health back. Anyways, fusing kinstones with him... unlocks this waterfall here. Keep that waterfall in mind for later because this guy teaches you to extend the duration of the Great Spin Attack, but you won't get the Great Spin Attack until you have all the other scrolls. Speaking of scrolls, over here by Hyrule Castle in the garden on the right hand side, you can find this hidden path underneath all the bushes. Got that piece of heart. You're gonna need the Lantern to light up this area and talk to this dude here Grimblade oh it's it's Grimblade not Graveblade excuse me I'm sorry and he teaches you the normal sword beam that you were just seeing in that last clip and this is the standard Zelda, your hearts are full, you swing, and you shoot. You know, basic stuff. Uh-huh. Possess me. Bing! There we go. Shooting beams with my sword. Shooting beams, I'm not bored. Yay, I can shoot beams. Uh-huh. Sometimes I forget how long it takes us to move the text along. <laughs> uh. Fusing with him, however. 
Sometimes I forget that it dings twice here because it dings every time they do their little pose. Opens up this waterfall over here in the uh, Tribby Highlands. Or the Vale Falls, I'm sorry. The Vale Falls, I think, is like right next to the Highlands. Yeah, it opens up by the Vale Falls. And you get this guy, Split Blade, who teaches you how to fill up your split gauge faster. You really want to get this before going into the Cloud Dungeon. The, uh, oh, what's it called? The Palace... The Palace of Winds. Yeah, you really want to get this before you go to the Palace of Winds because the boss requires Link to split into three in order to hit him. This combined with charging up your spin attack faster because you have to have a full charge spin attack before your gauge even starts to fill will make that boss so much easier. I so wish I had gotten this in the actual playthrough before then, but I forgot about this guy. I forgot about the other guy too. And I got it late. So, don't make my mistake. Please, whatever you do, don't make my mistake. That's why I'm putting this where it is. Split gauge has been increased. Er, sword gauge will fill with power much more quickly. <clears throat> so, a little demonstration. That is way faster. Then, once you have all the scrolls, including the ones you get from Swift Blade. This ghostly guy in this grave that you most likely would have seen on your way. Just, I mean, th this is kind of on your way, in all honesty, in the swamp. You will find the grave of Swift Blade the first, who will, of course, teach you a powered up version of regular Swift Blade's spin attack move. Technique only he has mastered. Uh-huh. Why are we sitting on this? One who holds the sacred... First, do a spin attack. Press the button repeatedly. Repeatedly, repeatedly. Do you hear me? That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? And then, of course, he's going to demonstrate it. Oh, we're laughing how the possession thing makes more sense now. <laughs> Do-do-do-do-do-do. shun! <laughs> it's spelled Pope. Whee! And then I just end up spinning back in the other direction. Whee! Do you know the way? I'm sorry, I had to. I know it's a dead meme. But, so is he! Yay, great spin attack. And if you remember from before, fusing kin stones with wave blade, it opens up this area right here. Where this guy will teach you how to extend that great spin attack so it lasts longer. Uh, but yeah, he won't, of course, teach you this until you have the great spin attack, obviously. And he is the final hidden guy behind a waterfall. So, at the conclusion of learning how to spinning, spinning for an extended period of time, 
that will conclude this guide. I thank everyone for watching. Oh, wow. This goes on for a while. <laughs> I'm, I'm like trying to wrap things up here and be like, thank you all for watching and blah, blah, blah. And it's like still going. <laughs> last longer than before and then I demonstrate it come on commit yourself to the blade and stuff oh this guy <clears throat> That's it. See you all for... Alright, see you all for the next actual episode. Bye.